Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is my Series September Wrap Up. Um, this is a readathon that was hosted by Krista from Books and Gems and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and it was all about making progress in the series that we are reading which is why I participated because I have a lot of series on the go and so I, I, I thought this is a great, a great way to kind of push me to read um, more from the series that, I, that I'm already reading. So some of these books I have already talked about in previous videos so I'm going to mention them quickly and then I have um, three books here that, um, that I in read for Series September that I have not talked about yet so I'm going to focus on those. For Out of the Box, I read Bad Day at the Vulture Club by Basim Khan, and I talked about this in my Reading Roundup number 64 video, and I'm going to link that video in the cards and down below if you want to hear what I had to say about Bad Day at the Vulture Club. And then there were a few other books that I read that were part of series that I couldn't fit into this bingo card, but I wanted to include them because they're part of series that I read. So I read the latest in the Lady Swift series by Verity Bright um, called Death Down the Isle. And I read A Certain Darkness, which is the newest in the um, Verity Kent series by Anna Lee Huber. Both of those books I talk about on Reading Roundup number 63. And then another book that I'm going to include that I talked about on Reading Roundup number 64 is A Song of Comfortable Chairs by Alexander McCall Smith, which is the latest in his um, Number One Ladies Detective Agency series. Okay, I also read um, Leopard's Prey, now, and I'm including this for the Double It Up challenge because um, I read Leopard's Prey and then I also read Treasure of the Golden Cheetah. This is from the Jay Del, Del Cameron series by Suzanne Aruda. And I talked about Leopard's Prey already in uh, Reading Roundup number 64. Treasure of the Golden Cheetah is the next in the series. And I just love this series. So it's a series set in Africa in 1920. And our main character is Jade Del Cameron. She's an American. She drove ambulances on the front line during the First World War. And she is now in Africa. And these books are very much adventure mysteries and I really enjoy them. In this one, Jade is asked to help in, um, in a safari. There's a group of um, Americans who are there to make a movie and uh, they want to go and film on Mount Kilimanjaro. And um, Harry Haskam, who is the who is the safari leader, has asked Jade to come along and kind of be in charge of the women. <laughs> um, and so she goes, uh, and adventure ensues, and murder ensues. And I just really, really enjoy that series a lot. Okay, so for the square, let's get it started. I read a Meditation on Murder, uh, which you can also hear my thoughts of in reading roundup number 64. Okay, so for the books that I have not yet talked about, um, Blast from the Past, I chose to read A Peculiar, A Particular Eye for Villainy by Anne Granger. And I'm counting this because it is a historical mystery, and that's the past, but, but it's also a series that I started a long time ago and I just put down for whatever reason, maybe I couldn't get a hold of the books, I'm not entirely sure. So that counts as a blast from the past, I think. Okay, so this is a Victorian era historical mystery. The main characters are Inspector Ben Ross and his wife Lizzie. And what I love about this series is that they um, alternate chapters between the perspectives of Ben and Lizzie. And so you really get a, a really full, um, fully rounded out mystery because you're getting from both of their perspectives. So the guy who is part of the police, who it's his job to investigate, and then you also get from the perspective of his wife who can maybe talk to people that he doesn't talk to. Um, so I do really enjoy that. So in a particular eye for villainy, the lodger of someone in a house not far from their own is murdered. 
and the maid from that house uh, you know comes terrified to them to ask for help and so of course Ben investigates and um, yeah I I really enjoyed this the lodger is a man who has returned recently from many years abroad and so trying to find out really anything about him is a bit difficult but yeah I really enjoy the series I really enjoy the characters um, the plots are good the mysteries are good and so I'm glad that I'm you know finally back into this series and I, um, I, I plan to continue on and read the next one very soon and actually it would work perfectly to continue um, reading this in October because these are Victorian era historical mysteries and so that would fit really well with Victober. Okay for Talk of the Town, I read the latest in the Armand Gamache series by Louise Penny. This is The Madness of Crowds. I just have to say, I love Louise Penny. I absolutely adore the Armand Gamache series. They are just so fascinating. I love the characters, especially the character of Armand Gamache. He's just such a good man and his struggles to do what is right um, make these books just so compelling. So in The Madness of Crowds, he is asked sort of unusually to protect a woman who is about to give um, a lecture in, in his area. And this woman is causing a lot of, um, a lot of problems. Um, because of what she has to say and so he has to protect her um, because it's his job and you know there is freedom of speech but how far does that go um, and yeah I just I love that Louise Penny really dives deeply into these issues of morality and that area of gray that um, you know some people like to swim in that area of gray and others don't and I love that Louise Penny delves into those books um, so yeah I thought that was that was really fantastic this book takes place over the Christmas period and look at these end papers isn't that amazing one thing that I thought was interesting is this book was published in 2021 and um, she felt that she had to address the pandemic and um, but she didn't want to be still in the midst of it so she chose to have the pandemic be over and so that was an interesting choice uh, because we are now you know late 2022 and the pandemic is still not quite over even though we have a vaccine and so yeah so that that was just an interesting an interesting thing I understand why she felt she had to address it but didn't want to include it in her story so I get that um, the madness of Krause has themes of courage and cowardice right and wrong facts versus the truth which is always interesting weakness and strength monsters versus heroes burden versus blessing I just love how deep a Louise Penny goes and I marked one thing that I wanted to uh, to share and this really just dives into the heart of what this particular mystery is about if human nature was allowed to take its course unchecked what would happen so that is The Madness of Crowds by Louise Penny. And then lastly for That's a Wrap, which is, this is the last book in the series. This is a trilogy and I'm so glad that I finished this series. And this is A Cruel Courtship by Candace Robb. This is historical mystery that takes place in Scotland in 12 97 and she sets the events of this mystery around the battle of um, Stirling Bridge which is a famous historical event and so that's always really interesting and I really enjoyed reading the, the author's note at the end with some more historical detail the the main character in this series is Margaret Kerr and she is asked to head to Stirling to try and find a messenger 
So she is on the side, obviously, of the um, of the Scottish people. So you you've got uh, William Wallace who is fighting the English, and so there's there's a a, a young man in Sterling who has been um, taking messages for the spies, and uh, he has kind of disappeared. So she's been sent there. To, to find him and to find out what's going on. Um, and when she arrives there, she finds that there has been a murderer. The goldsmith in the town is murdered. And then there is another murder that is closer to home. And, uh, and so she has to investigate. One thing that I find so interesting is that she's only 19 and it's so easy to forget that when I'm reading the events of what happened and the things that she's caught up in, I just naturally assume, assume that she's older, like a woman in her 30s, but she's only 19 years old. Um, she also in this book is uh, struggling through discovering the fact that she has second sight and she doesn't know what to do with, about that. Her mother had it and kind of destroyed her life. Uh, so that's an interesting part of this mystery as well. So yes, I'm glad that I read this and that I finished this particular series. Even though it was only a trilogy, it, it took me a while to get through this one for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, uh, there you go. So that is my series September wrap up. Have you read any of these books? I would love to chat with you in the comment section down below. How did your September go? Did you participate in series September? Um, and is there a series that you managed to finish in series September? I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below. And I will see you for another video soon. Bye.